Hello, my name is Chris Dorsey. I'm the Director of Admissions and a proud Eastern graduate. Welcome to Eastern Connecticut State University's virtual tour presentation. During this presentation, you will hear from our staff as they discuss the degrees of difference at Eastern. Topics will include the campus community, in the classroom, supporting our students, student life, affordability and financial aid, and the application process. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. We look forward to welcoming you on campus soon. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. We are going to begin talking about Eastern's campus community. Here at Eastern, we're a medium-sized university compared to all of the universities across the country. Also, we're the smallest out of the Connecticut State Universities, and we're the most residential. This means that the majority of our students live on campus. As you can see in this slide, we have 4,800 students enrolled, 4,000 of them being undergraduate. This means that most of our resources go to our undergraduate students. Next, we are going to talk about our warrior family. Our students come from all over Connecticut, all over the United States, and all over the world. About 96% of Connecticut towns are being represented here at Eastern. Also, 30% of our population are students of color. And now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the in-classroom experience here at Eastern. One of the great benefits of Eastern is our small class sizes. Our average class size is 22. We have a student faculty ratio of 15 to one. What that simply means is you're gonna to get to know your classmates and you're gonna to get to know your professor and your professor's gonna to get to know you. You don't have to worry about any large lecture style classes here at Eastern. In fact, last year our largest class had 46 students and 99% of our classes had 40 or fewer students. You don't have to worry about teaching assistants or graduate assistants either as all of our courses are taught by professors. This maybe doesn't seem like a big deal now, but to be able to have the opportunity to know who your professor is, and your professor know who you are, whether it's looking for a letter of recommendation, help on your research, or just you have a quick question about something you went over in class earlier that day. To be able to have that great relationship with your professor really is going to add to your academic experience at Eastern and really going to allow you to become a lot more academically curious. Here at Eastern, students complete their education in a tiered approach meaning they must master each tier before moving on to the next. The goal is to ensure that students are thinking critically and are developing new ideas. Students develop concepts and methods in the first tier, synthesize their knowledge in the second tier, and complete their education in the third tier through research paper, thesis, performance, or internship. 95% of our students complete an internship or other applied learning experience to ensure they're implementing their breadth of knowledge in real life scenarios. Students also have the flexibility to select courses that interest them and also connect back to their intended major. As an example, while I was a student here at Eastern, I was required to take an applied information technology course as a political science major. Within the options presented to me, I decided to enroll within an intro into web development course where I learned the basic rules of coding and how to create a website. I have referred to these skills numerous times in assisting in recreating Eastern's website. This course not only allowed me to develop an eye for marketing, but also how to communicate with a diverse population, which connects back to the objectives I learned as a political science major. Eastern has many ways that we support our students inside and outside of the classroom. Coming in as a freshman, you would meet with someone from our advising center to map out your Eastern and four graduation plan. This is where you can pencil in all the courses that you would take over each of your eight semesters at Eastern, from your major courses to your core courses. If you're thinking you might want to add a second major or a minor, this is a great way to put that all together and make sure that you would be on track for a timely graduation. Eastern does have about double the four-year graduation rate of the other Connecticut State Universities in the CSU system, and part of that is because of some fantastic resources that we have, like the Advising Center. Within the Academic Success Center, we have our tutoring services, including dedicated areas for the Writing Center and the Math Achievement Center. This is a great way if you just want another set of eyes on a paper before you turn it in, or if you are having trouble with a concept and you would like a peer tutor to explain it to you, um, you can seek out those services. They're all on the first floor of the library, so they're very convenient and easy to get to, and there's no cost anytime you want to drop by. Um, you can make an appointment online as well. Our Office of Accessibility Services can offer a few different resources to students. So if you need assistance in physically getting around campus, then you can seek out assistance from them. And then also if you need any learning accommodations to be successful in the classroom, they can serve as a liaison between you and your professors um, to get accommodations like extra time on tests or needing to take an exam in a quiet space. 
Our Counseling and Psychological Services Center offers individual and group mental health counseling, as well as psychiatric services to our students. And again, there's no additional cost to speak to those professionals. And then lastly, within our campus safety department, we have 18 state certified police officers. There's always officers on duty. You'll see them walking around, driving around, riding their bikes around, um, stopping to talk to students and staff, making sure that everyone is safe. Within the public safety division, we also have our shuttle system. So there's 12 stops on campus, including at our athletic complex. That's about a mile down the road. Eastern also partners with LiveSafe. Um, so all students are encouraged to download the LiveSafe app. There's many different safety features as part of this. So one of them is that you can share your location with your friends. So if you're studying late at the library and you want your friends to know that you got home safely to your residence hall, then you can notify them through that app. Um, you can also report different safety concerns. So if you walk by a slippery spot on the sidewalk and you want to let someone know, you can do that very easily through the app and public safety will know right away and can follow up. Lastly, we have Eastern Alert, which is our mass notification system. So if there's any information that we would want the entire Eastern community to know at once, we can send it out through Eastern Alert. Uh, mostly this is used for weather related emergencies. So if there's a delay or if there's a snow day, um, all the students will get the text to their phone and then you'll hear the cheers through the residence halls um, as they're excited about the snow day. But it's just a great peace of mind measure of knowing that you're in the loop, that you're not missing out on any information. Um, you know what's going on at Eastern. Moving on, we'll talk about the Center for Internships and Career Development, um, which is there to guide students and support them on their career journey. Whether a student has a goal to attain an internship, graduate school, or employment, the office provides a variety of services to help students meet their goal. The services available include resume writing, which provides one-on-one -on -one sessions to review resumes and cover letters. Uh, the services also include mock interviews, where students practice and receive feedback on their interviewing skills and really prepare students for their actual job interviews. Our career counseling also helps students who are not sure specifically which career is the right fit for them. They assess students and provide possible options to help them see if a career they have in mind is suitable for them. The department also works hand in hand with companies where they hold on campus internships and job fairs, where students can connect with individuals who are working in their potential career field. They really work one on one to be able to provide connections to those making the hiring decisions within those companies. The department is a great benefit for students. More than 90% of our recent graduates are employed or go into graduate school within the first six months of graduation. I'm gonna tell you what it's like to be a student at Eastern. Eastern is the most residential campus out of all the state schools in Connecticut. 81% of our first year students live on campus and the majority of all students live on campus. We have 14 residence halls at Eastern, we have six first year halls that range from traditional and suite style, and we have eight upperclassmen halls that range from apartments and suite style. In terms of what's happening around campus, typically Eastern hosts 2,500 events annually. Many of these events are programmed by our campus activity board. These programmers plan our fall and spring concert, off campus trips to places like Boston and New York, and a handful of events during the weekends and during the week to keep you entertained. If you miss a campus activity board event, we have 90 plus clubs and organizations for you to join. Many of these organizations plan events for our campus, but if you don't find a club that's right for you, you can create your own here at Eastern. We are a division three school, we have 19 athletic teams, and we just added men's swimming and men's golf. We are competitive within the division and we are very proud of our student athletes. Lastly, if you're interested in studying abroad, we have a study abroad office that serves as a liaison between the student and the school abroad. Students can choose to study for a full year or just a semester. In this slide, we're going to talk about affordability and financial aid. We're going to talk about it for students wishing to live on and off campus, broken down by in-state, out-of-state, and New England Regional. Next to total, total direct costs, you'll see three columns for in-state, out-of-state, and NEBI. And that's for students wishing to live on campus. The fees include tuition, fees, housing and unlimited meal plan. Directly below that would be the cost for students wishing to commute to campus. One of the most important parts about affordability is filling out your FAFSA. The FAFSA is due March 1st. It can be found at studentaid.gov. Another way to keep the cost down is by keeping your grades up in high school. As admissions counselors, we can award merit-based scholarships. The better the grades, the more money you receive. We also have an honors program, and for more information about the honors program, contact the admissions office for more information about it. 
And lastly, the bursar's office. The bursar's office can help you with interest-free payments by giving them a call and working out a plan with them. Now on to the application process. The average GPA for our incoming freshmen last year was a 3.4. Keep in mind that's an average, that's not the minimum GPA um, to get admitted to Eastern. The average SATs range between 1020 and 1190. The ACT equivalent to that is a 19 to 24. Um, to complete your application, what we need is the Common App, your high school transcript, two letters of recommendations, and test scores unless you decide to apply test optional. We do encourage students to apply during the fall of their senior year. Um, we are rolling admissions, and once we have a completed application, a decision is usually completed within two weeks. Thank you for joining us today, and please do not hesitate to contact us at 860-465-5286 or admissions at easternct.edu. We hope to meet you on campus soon.